Good morning, everybody. My name is Fraser, and I would like to say that I am proud to be an environmentalist. It's something which hasn't happened overnight and has taken probably the better part of the past five years uh, for me to get to a point where I can say that I am sustainable. Uh, it's such a powerful thing to stand up here and be in front of the next generation of students and be able to show them that there are different paths to follow and there are different ways to make a career. There are different things to study. And what I'm gonna show you right now is a video that inspired me two years ago and pretty much put my sustainable drive into. I saw that video and I, I went back home and I sat down and really took a look at my life and started thinking about what, what I was consuming, what I was doing. Um, and we always hear about all the problems uh, that are around in the world, but we, we very seldom get solutions. So I went through and systematically looked at every aspect of my life and decided where I could be more sustainable. Um, There's one little bottle here saves 120 plastic bottles from uh, filling up with coconut water every year. In conjunction to that, our family consumes 1,200 less soda pops a year. That's 1,200 less pet bottles that are going into our landfill. 1,200 less bottles that have to be recycled. 1,200 bottles that don't disappear. These bags save our family 700 bags per year. Real numbers, this is, this is how I live. This little container here gets filled up with lunch instead of a styrofoam container. Styrofoam doesn't ever break down. It's here forever. So when you think you go and you have your normal lunch, you have a styrofoam container, put in a plastic bag, and a pet bottle of soft drink. That lunch is going to be here for a thousand years. 
long after we're all gone. What I want to talk to you guys about is opportunity. This is my house. I built this two years ago when I started my journey. I decided that, you know, maybe I'm not happy with the amount that I'm consuming and what can I do differently. Um, everyone always goes straight to solar or alternative energy when they talk about sustainability. Um, it's only a, a fraction of what it's all about. What it's about is what Omar was talking about, sustainable food. It's about lawyers who help stand up for the environment versus clients. It's about adapting ourselves in Barbados to a changing global environment. We complain about our struggling tourist market, yet we keep on with the same practices. Bhutan, a, com a country in the Himalayas, just made an awe-inspiring, awe-inspiring decision. They are going to be the first organic country in the world, and they have a systematic 10-year plan to accomplish this. Wow. Their tourism numbers have gone up 100% in the past year. This is a, a type of tourism that has not been tapped into yet. This is a type of tourism that needs to be brought to Barbados to give shining examples of how we can live, how we can enjoy life, how we can prosper together sustainably so that your kids' kids, your great-grandkids can say, you know, I'm going to go snorkeling with the sea turtles. I'm going to enjoy the things that my great-great-grandparents enjoy. We need to get away from being so self-centered and greedy. It's time to decide that it's okay to leave something for future generations. How can you get involved? There's plenty of ways. I know a lot of you are thinking about going to school, your tertiary education, um, thinking about majors, um, thinking about what you want to do with the rest of your life. What I'm saying is there is an infinite possibility to make money, to save this planet, to use capitalism to our advantage. Educate ourselves, be aware, be kind, love this island. Thank you. <laughs>